Helping now, thousands of students across the country are standing up against gun violence. Many plan to participate in tomorrow's walkout to show support for tougher gun laws after the Parkland, Florida school shooting. Channel 2's Taisha Fernandez is live at North Gwinnett High, and that's where Taisha administrators are not supporting this walkout. Jovi, the certain students who are participating in the walkout will be walking right out of these doors here at North Gwinnett High School. And school officials already made it clear that they do support uh, the students' message, but if they allow them to walk out for this cause, they'll have to allow everything. By us walking out, we are also saying that we are a part of that group of students who want something different for our future and for our country. Jolie Reberge is a senior at North Gwinnett High School. Last month's mass shooting at a high school in Parkland, Florida, broke her heart. We just want this to never happen again. Wednesday is the one month anniversary of that terrible day, and students across the country are walking out of their schools for 17 minutes for the 17 lives taken on February 14th. Gwinnett County school officials said they're not supporting the walkout, but they do understand that kids want tougher gun laws so they don't have to feel unsafe at school, and walking out is their way of making their voices heard. If we condone students walking out of class and breaking school rules um, for this group, then we would have to do that for other groups as well. Many students we spoke to are willing to take the punishment for walking out Wednesday. The offense would be tardiness to their next class. They believe that they must walk out to show politicians in Washington they mean business. But I truly believe that some things like gun violence in our country is more important than instructional times. And we can sacrifice 17 minutes if it's advocating for 17 more lives. Students here leaving the walkout at North Gwinnett High said they've been advertising on social media. They've been telling everybody word of mouth, and they're expecting about 1,000 students here tomorrow. We're live in Gwinnett County in Suwannee. Taisha Fernandez, Channel 2 Action News.